Turf managers have had quite a challenge this year. Many parts of the U.S. have been experiencing extreme drought. Hi, I'm Jack Higgins, and this week's Two Minute Turf Talk is a case study in non-irrigated turf. Now, you can see from the pictures and videos that non-treated turf all around this state of New Jersey is completely dormant. And it's a question whether a lot of it will survive once we get rain. Now, our friend Zach Holm, and you can check him out on an upcoming podcast, has sent us some great pictures of two fields that he takes care of in the northwest of New Jersey. Now, the practice field has been treated with synthetic straight salt fertilizer all season, whereas the game field started with one app of synthetic fertilizer, but then subsequent apps were the Earthworks Replenish 1605. Now, 1605 has the highest load of humic acids of any of the replenished fertilizers that we carry, and I believe that the humic acid, in combination with the very high-energy, rich compost of the Earthworks fertilizer, has really helped retain some soil moisture and help this turf stay green throughout the very droughty month of July. You can see in the series of pictures that Zach's provided of comparing both the practice field and the game field on the same day that the game field has always retained more color, more vigor than the practice field. I mean, this does kind of speak to the fact that when going out with a salt-based fertilizer, the soil needs to provide moisture to help break down that salt, whereas going out with a compost-based and humic acid-rich fertilizer is giving uh, more of a haven to utilize the limited soil moisture that's available in the root zone. The series of photos were very enlightening, and I thought that it would make an excellent two-minute turf talk, quite timely for all of you that are experiencing this very droughty season of 2022. All the best and do a rain dance.